John, track of the experience. couch facing I know it's short but it's hard to get through and I was facing a coffee table and across across from the coffee table several large soft chairs and it was a kind of party atmosphere that we found ourselves in after a show while we were on tour and suddenly one person appeared or he became a parent sitting in a chair across from me. <laughs> and it was Dave Rocky. And he was smiling and enjoying himself like everyone else. And I blinked. <laughs> I blinked. <laughs> um, I blinked and I rubbed my eyes and he was still there. <laughs> It's impossible. I can't be seeing this, I thought. I, I finally turned to a person next to me and said, Are you seeing this? Isn't that Dave Brock? <laughs> they nodded. They nodded in agreement with, with polite indifference, like somebody who's indulging you. And the next person I asked did the same. It was not the kind of confirmation that I was looking for. Finally, I thought, if this is a ghost or a figment of my imagination, then it will not show up on camera. That's right. Vampires don't show up in mirrors. And so, I got out my smartphone to take his picture. And as I opened the menu, I realized I didn't know how to take a picture with a phone. I fumbled madly as I tried to figure out which buttons to push, feeling like a total technophobe. But finally I was ready. I was ready to take the picture, and when I looked up, he was gone. <coughs> Three significant comments, comments came by us in the last 30 years. The second one, the second one was 1986's 
<coughs> Halley's Comet, said to appear in the sky once every 80 or so years. And for some reason, I couldn't be bothered to go outside and look at it. Because <laughs> I was too busy working on, working on this new band I was part of called Guar. So I missed that one. And the third comet was called Hale Bob, which appeared in 1997. Nike! While it was significant enough for some Nike wearing eunuchs to commit cold suicide over, <laughs> it was not significant enough for me to pop my head out of the slave pit and get a good look. So I missed that one too. But the first Comet appeared in 1984 in the Biograph Theater as part of a punk rock show, and I have never been the same. It changed everything about me, who I thought I was, to what I did for a living, to whom I would marry and have a child with. <laughs> won't think too much about those other comets much during my life but the first one is in my DNA and I will never forget 